inspired by Harry Potter star Emma Watson's global initiative that encourages people to read on their daily commutes a mobile library called Books on the Delhi Metro, started by a Delhi-based couple, is encouraging readers to pick up, read, and return books on the Metro. Here's the story. For commuters on one of the world's most colossal transport systems, the Delhi Metro, it seems like the last place one would find adventure. But since May 2017, Shruti Sharma, a B.Tech graduate turned content writer, has been setting up elaborate treasure hunts for commuters with her initiative, Books on the Delhi Metro. I was uh, watching uh, Emma Watson's uh, Instagram video where she was dropping books uh, on New York subway. And then I went back to them, asked for their permission if I can start uh, our own first branch in India. And they, you know, agreed and I just uh, started. Shruti started this venture with her personal collection. But when the movement started to gain followers on social media, many volunteers joined hands to contribute. And just like a fairy tale, there are now 15 volunteers who call themselves book fairies, who drop books off at metro stations. We drop our books at the metro stations with a sticker on them saying, take it, read it and drop them for others to read. And we just drop them and give hints on Instagram and Facebook about where the books are. The project has stuck a chord with many for whom chasing these books is an adventure in itself. So they message us, you are on the right spot, you can just search for us and you will find the book. Then we went around and there we saw our book, green, co green color, it looks so amazing in the sunlight. Like adding a new track, people from other parts of the country have begun to express their interest in starting similar movements in their cities. Their motto has been to like take people away from like their phones. They were like, we are giving you free books. Just find them and read them. With cost of Sooth, Priya Tuvisheri and camera person Pooja Arya in New Delhi, Martina Roy for NDTV.